Today's Daily Dose of Math is part two in our series of videos about the rectangle. In this video, we ask the questions, is a rectangle also a rhombus? And is a rhombus also a rectangle? We have a yellow rhombus here. We can see it's a rhombus because we have these little lines on the sides, which are indicating that these four sides are all equal in length. Our green rectangle has similar lines on the two short sides. They're equal in length to each other. But the double lines on the long sides are showing us that these two sides are equal to each other, but are not equal in length to the short sides. Let's look at the definitions for both shapes. A rhombus is a quadrilateral that has four congruent sides. Yes, our yellow rhombus is following this rule, but our green rectangle is not. But can it? Is it possible for a rectangle to have four congruent sides? The answer is yes, because a square has four congruent sides and a square is also a rectangle. This rectangle is not also a rhombus, but it is possible for a rectangle to also be a rhombus. Now the definition of a rectangle. It's a quadrilateral that has two pairs of opposite congruent sides and at least one internal 90 degree angle. Our green rectangle is following these rules, but our yellow rhombus is not. Although it has four congruent sides, we can still say it has two pairs of opposite congruent sides. So the rhombus is following that part of the rectangle's rule. But a rectangle has to have at least one internal 90 degree angle. This yellow rhombus does not have any internal 90 degree angles. So this yellow rhombus is not also a rectangle. But can a rhombus also be a rectangle? Yes, because a square is a rhombus, and a square does have internal 90 degree angles. So the answer to both questions is not necessarily. A rectangle can be a rhombus, but does not have to be, and a rhombus can be a rectangle, but does not have to be. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.